be blue on here. So our time right now is going to be pretty short, and then you guys can break up if you want to and go ahead and talk about stuff, or if you aren't ready for that, that's fine too. But just a couple things. Um, they wanted us to go over the roles and responsibilities, but if you look in your packet, not that they don't apply to you, but you guys are so um, rotation specific. But those are kind of more of the broad roles and responsibilities for guys and Bible study teachers. So just know if you're helping with snacks, you just do whatever Mary says. We just run around and deliver snacks. Yeah, right. You just it's great. It's chaotic, it's yeah, crazy. It's great. But it Perfect. goes right over. Yes. And if you're in crafts, you do whatever Kathy says. <laughs> you just sit in there and she'll tell you and and then you're gonna go. Um, and then missions. You guys are your own bosses, so <laughs> you are you're good to go there. Um, a couple Around things. Foremans. Yes, the foreman. Yes, foreman. Foreman. yes. exactly. Um, a couple things though to make you aware of this year for pictures. If a child is not able to have their picture taken, I know a lot of times in rotations too, we want to take pictures and share those and post and all that, and that's fine. But if they have a red lanyard on, so we're not using the Lifeway. Um, name tags this year. So we don't have to write off special stickers or look on the back. We'll be looking on the back. We're going to have other indicators as well. But a red lanyard means that they cannot have their picture taken and posted like to our social media or shared you know, on our Facebook or anything like that. So definitely look out for that. Um, we are getting the kind that the lanyard will be colored. The pocket will be clear and we will be inserting a name tag into that for them. So if you see a yellow tag, that indicates that they do have some kind of allergy that we need to then flip over on the back and read what is that. So for snack people, just look out for that and hopefully the teacher goes by. And we'll be able to get a list to use if we get a handful of them I know ahead of time. Breaking down by class, like right. how you can, because I know they all come, you know, they're coming at a different time, right? Not a set order um, as far as like the grades necessarily. Okay, so yes, yeah, so you should be mindful of that. The supply list again. Due June 28th, um, I will not make you wait in town. We are out of town, and everyone's like, that took us a full month. I'm like, no, oh, they're gonna be out of town. <laughs> yeah. um, we are out of town that next week. So I'm gonna try like around July 12th to have everything in and up here, but I'll definitely let you know when all that's ready. Um, one of our newer changes for this year, and there's only one recreation person here to hear this, but we can share okay. <laughs> is that we're not doing water day this year um i know we're gonna see what happens it was It'll a little so crazy sad. Yeah. right i know and as parents were all like i don't know yeah okay. um it just got a little crazy trying to get all the kids changed and especially those younger classes like the kindergarten class that had oh, 40 there were probably three or four of us that went to help them try to get changed and back to their next rotation and they were like filled with all of their helpers and all of their teachers and it was a little crazy. Um, again, they will need to kind of come up with a rain day plan if that happens. Water day, because you've got to go outside. Yeah, <laughs> play in the rain. <laughs> yes, but which, I mean, they'll be able to handle that. They, those guys have been doing this, you know, every year, so. Um, I mean, I think that's really it. For me, just as far as pertinent information to the different rotations, unless you guys have anything you have a question about. I just like the list of who signed yes. up to help so I can get contact info. Yep. And that's the thing, I know it's kind of early right now, so if you have nothing to talk about, I know you guys kind of all work on it well, yeah, together. Just concerned about it, we can't really put it in the order unless we have the kids. Right, I know. So I think, I don't know, we talked about trying to do almost like a fake registration deadline where we're saying you need to be registered by this date and obviously we're not going to turn kids away after that but just to try to force as much early online registration as we can possibly get because really i have you no know, idea part of me is a little nervous that it's going to be like one kids yeah but you know i mean just I with being one of the only going on doing right. this right like, but at the same time, you know, we still have people in our church who aren't comfortable coming to, you know, to stuff that we've been talking to some of our children's ministry leaders about, like, we want to start, and, you know, we even had a few of them that said, well, I'm sorry, like, we can't, we're not comfortable coming back yet. So I feel like we're still going to have, 
and maybe a decent group of people even at the end of July that just aren't mm-hmm. comfortable. So uh, yes, we really honestly have no idea. But we can go ahead and maybe and start, you know, start it on some numbers based on last year, maybe up it, you know, by 50 or so based on last year's numbers, if it looks like we're getting a heavy registration. Because even last year, we got several people that registered early, and that was great. That really helped us out. But then we still added, I mean, so many more, you know, week of every night that weren't in our class. I mean, it seemed like, which is good. It's like every night, like, I'm bringing a friend. Oh, friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They literally multiply. They're teaching her Loaves and fishes. It was crazy. So, yes, I mean, you can just, you can look and just see what you're thinking about, you know, and if it's something that we can Are we still, are, is the daycare or the summer camp or whatever going to do VBS this year? Like, are we going to do snacks for them like we have in the past? You no, know, that's a good question because I'm not even here. Right. I don't know. I will okay. ask about that. Okay. Because for my numbers, I kind of need to know that. Right. Oh, yes. No, absolutely. Yeah, I'll ask about that. I think they'll need it because if they're limited on so much other stuff that they. Uh, well, that's true. They can't do, that's true. They're going to need to fill in. They probably will too. want to. Mm-hmm. Just check. I'll double check. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get their numbers or whatever. Yes. All right. Any other questions? So, crafts, actually, I think, that, which we're still are up in the air a little bit as far as location for things. But I think this year we may try to keep you guys. Um, upstairs in the youth group, not have snack um, up there with you, like the preschool snacks like we did last year, do that in a separate location and try to just have you guys up there so that just on those two days when you have the elementary kids, it's easier for them to travel from downstairs to upstairs. You can just take the back hallway, you know, and not really interfere with the preschoolers at all. So you're not going to have any crafts down in the I don't think so. It's just going to be snack? I think so. Okay. Um, I can't, yes, I know, I mean, I think it will be nice, and of course, as soon as I say that, we'll get overloaded, and we'll, you know, yeah. well, but you're yeah. yeah. in the fellowship hall, but yes, I think for now, we're going to try to have all the crafts upstairs, okay. um, in the youth room, instead of making you guys travel, and having snack, and that same and delivery, and that thing, and yeah, yeah. 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 So those are a couple, yeah. They can get really good yeah. with yes. snacks and crafts trying to. Yes. Mm-hmm. Just screaming at people. And they're still like, what? Mm-hmm. I don't hear you. I get a bolt one. That's kind of a construction thing. Sure. Yes. <laughs> or just one of those air horns to get yeah. that to you. Yeah. Right. Snack time! Snack time! <laughs> good. Well, yeah, both of you need them. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Two blocks of crafts. So listen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, does anybody have any questions? Okay. Well, I will turn my video off, and if you, well, I was going to say, it's mostly your family, so if you want.